CMV gender disappointment shouldn't be widely accepted as okay. When you decide to have children, you have no idea who they will end up being. You don't know what their personality will be like. If they'll be born healthy or not. If you'll have only a short time with them or a lifetime. You can't choose their sex unless doing IVF. I don't understand the people who go into parenthood expecting things to look a certain way when there are no guarantees. It's one thing to hope, but another thing to say it's ruined your pregnancy or spouse's pregnancy and that you're depressed over your otherwise healthy child because it's not your preferred gender. I'm open to hearing others' opinions if you have an alternative perspective. It's one thing to hope, but another thing to say it's ruined your pregnancy or spouse's pregnancy and that you're depressed over your otherwise healthy child because it's not your preferred gender. It sounds like you're already drawing yourself a very narrow space to argue from because this is not what your subject line is saying. Disappointment is a very broad term, and you're specifically opposed to openly expressing that disappointment, but not being disappointed. Edit and actually, you're opposed to a very specific form of expressed disappointment, which is saying that your pregnancy is ruined. What if you are on your seventh son? Personally, I agree. I hate dads that want a son so much and are disappointed to get a daughter. Or women who want a daughter and are disappointed for a son. It can ruin the child's psyche. I understand having gender preferences for clothing. But if you start feeling the extreme, a therapist should be recommended. Postpartum depression is very real and should be taken care of. Gender disappointment has been viewed as okay due to wide misogyny in our society, i.e., wanting a son for mechanical stuff. It happens with daughters too, where a woman wants a daughter to dress up. Neither should be okay. I don't want to have a girl. Why? Because I know that she will have a much harder life. She will go through things that men don't have to, and things I'm not as equipped to help her with. I will worry more for her safety. Even in situations where I wouldn't worry about a boy's safety, I have the right to be disappointed. Not because I didn't get the gender I wanted but because I'm accepting that her life will be filled with much more hardships. The disappointment isn't so much for me as it is for her and the challenges she will have to face. I think an exception to this may be when someone is giving birth in an incredibly sexist society where they know their child can be seriously disadvantaged or face near certain trauma for being born a certain gender. In that case, a parent would be disappointed because they know their child will have a much worse quality of life. Just spitballing here, though. I think it's like a hormonal mental illness when it's truly that devastating. While pregnant a woman's hormones are off the chart, your emotions are on the brink of disaster every five seconds. If you fully hoped for one gender and you discovered you are having the other disappointment will happen. The hormones make everything seem so much worse. So even though they say it ruined my pregnancy or similar in one post does not actually mean that it did actually ruin their pregnancy. Just a day in that pregnancy. You don't know others situations face with rolling eyes I lost a baby traumatically at 22 weeks. I knew the gender boy we had a name picked out. Shit embroidered and everything. And abruptly delivered an angel. Almost a year later we found out we were pregnant again. And found out it was a girl. I was devastated. I had my heart set on the boy I was halfway to. And I had a room full of boy things. You really can't tell anyone they can't feel one way or the other. While yes. The most ideal scenario is a healthy baby boy or girl, but some people have deeper rooted emotions towards one or the other. It's okay to feel disappointment when your child turns out not as you expected. It's not okay to project that disappointment onto your child. My first child was born yesterday. I wanted a girl but I got a boy. When we learned the sex I was slightly disappointed. 
It doesn't mean I love my son any less and I think acknowledging these feelings is okay and feeling guilty over them would be not okay. What I'm saying is your title and description don't really match. So people should rather suppress their feelings. Not talk about them work on it? Sounds like a good way to make someone resent their child. Sometimes human emotions are irrational and don't make sense but that what makes us humans. As long as someone is doing anything harmful to their child who cares if a parent feels sad about it in that moment, there's nothing wrong with envisioning how your life is going to be with your baby. I think people know not everything is going to go your way. And it's okay to be disappointed. It doesn't mean anything. I have several friends that have some really horrifying genetic illnesses. They have expressed how relieved they are that they had boys and not girls because boys cannot get or carry the disease they have. Only women. They absolutely would have had gender disappointment if they had girls because it would have meant their children would have a 50 chance of being in severe pain for the rest of their lives and possibly had their children also suffer. I know someone who cried for a long time when they found out their baby was not of the gender they preferred, which I find very strange. My wife is pregnant with our second, and I think I know what I want, but we're both on the same page that we're going to be happy anyway. Gender disappointment is an unacceptable, narcissistic personality flaw. It's the moment when it becomes clear that somewhere deep in the fabric of your mind sits the blueprint of a fundamental selfish asshole. I really wanted a girl. I ended up with two boys. I love both my boys full-heartedly but there was definitely some sadness for me knowing I'd never have a girl weak uterus. I wouldn't survive a third pregnancy. In some countries such as China, a son is required to pass down the family name because of that. A girl is generally seen as a massive disappointment as they cannot carry the family name. Normally this wouldn't be a big deal however in those countries. The family name is seen as sacred and respected above all else. Because of this culture in society, it is okay to do gender disappointment because to have a girl would mean the end of your entire family line unless there is another son. Nah because you're right. Oh man I thought that was GPIMG somewhere else from the title lol. Couldn't agree more. Those kind of people should foster then adopt. You can pick and choose the ones you want. Even when I adopted my kids I didn't ask for a specific sex. I agree with OP and really don't understand extreme disappointment. They shouldn't have kids at all. Even if they get the sex kid they want. They are clearly piling on tremendous expectations. I am a boy mom and would have been temporarily thrown if I was going to have a girl instead. I've never wanted to be a girl mom but at the end of the day. My husband and I would have been thankful that we were blessed with a beautiful child. It's okay to want one or the other I have never heard anyone say that it ruined their lives that. They had a boy or a girl instead of what they were hoping for. It's not okay but it's also often not intentional. People imagine their desired lives and can become invested in the fantasy. It's hard to have it not play out. We don't have too much control over the emotions we experience. Just how what we do with those emotions. It's nice to get things off your chest and express your feelings. Even disappointment. It's not okay if it impacts the relationship with the child. Disappointment is a normal feeling to have in lots of situations. Feelings are normal. And part of being human. I can't imagine faulting someone for their feelings we can only fault people on what they do. Not on what they think or feel. Stop making that guy. The gender paradox. If you say genders are equal and you treat them equally. Then why is everything you do surrounding them still based on prejudice? I just look at it as if I had a boy he'll be a golden retriever and a mama's boy. But if I have a girl, she's being put in ballet classes or something.